welcome to Boris Banter. In 2005, California State University's Media Psychology Lab conducted a survey with 1,166 participants between the ages of 16 and 91. Ten monsters were included in the survey. Dracula, Chucky, Hannibal Lecter, Godzilla, the creature from Alien, and many more. Jason from the Friday the 13th franchise movie series received the highest scores in each category, including killing variables. And he was named the King of Killers. And today, ladies and goyles, we've got a special guest right here in this studio, Jason Voorhees. Yay! All right, Jason. How'd you... Hi. <laughs> Had you rather be called Jason or Uncle Boogeyman or doesn't matter? Okay, all right. Well, I just want to say congratulations, the King of Killers. And thanks for being with me today. Now, speaking of killing variables, you have killed approximately 148 people. There's different... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, good. I did my math right. <laughs> okay. Well, there's many ways that you've killed them, including you've drowned people, you've used hunting knives, you've used bow and arrows, right? And you've even killed people by stabbing them in the face. Speaking of which, we have your special guest here today. <laughs> <laughs> and let us not forget your famous machete. Now, which murder? Uh, now, which murder weapon do you find most fulfilling to use? Your your hands. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, you know, Freddy, uh, Jason, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, Jason, Jason, um, we don't really get to see your face, do we? I have a question. Do you have a five o'clock shadow? Are you clean shaven? Yeah. Well, I'm curious. How do you drink under that mask? Can you give us an example? Coffee from Starbucks. Ah. Oh. Very good, okay. Now, Jason, people, <laughs> people have a lot of superstitions. They stay at home on Friday the 13th. They're afraid that a cat's going to cross their uh, path. They're afraid to walk under ladders. They're afraid to even open umbrellas in the house. Now you, sir, do you have any superstitions at all? All right. Now, with, with that mask on, how do you blow out birthday candles? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, do you even celebrate your birthday? Ah, all right. And with him or her? Okay. Do you celebrate any holidays like Christmas or Easter or Yom Kippur? Um, how does it feel to be so famous and so loved? Are you humbled, or are you grateful, or does it even phase you? Excuse me. Peace. There you go. Get it. Get it, Jason. Get it. <laughs> These flies are big as bats. All right. So, um, so back to the question. How does it feel to be so famous and so loved? Are you humbled? Are you grateful? Or, or does it even phase you? Oh, good, good. All right, Jason. I want to have a very serious moment with you, okay? 
You kill a lot of people during and sometimes after they've had sex. Now this may be a little this may be a little hard for you, but when you were a little boy, you drowned in the lake while two people were making out. Alrighty? Now they may not have known that you were drowning or they may have ignored you, we don't know. Okay. Now, uh, that was a horrific event. Would that event have anything to do as a motivation for you to kill people while they're making out? All right. All right, I'm going to talk about Freddy Krueger, sorry, and Michael Myers, sorry. Now, in their own right, they are killing machines, and they have earned their stars in the Hall of Horror, right? Yes. Are you in any way jealous of them? Are they any competition for you? All right. Have you ever thought about knocking one off? All right. On a lighter note, <laughs> do you dress up and go out trick-or-treating for Halloween? Do you pass out candy for Halloween? Okay. Do you have any favorite Halloween candy? Mm, all right. Well, now, we're winding to the end here. Is there anybody on your list, your hit list, that you have not been able to get your hands on yet? <laughs> all right. All right. Now, if you were a flavor of ice cream... What flavor would it be? Strawberry. Red for strawberry. <laughs> I thought you had a little tender bone in there somewhere. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can follow Jason on Instagram by searching Uncle Boogeyman or on Facebook under Uncle Boogeyman or Uncle Boogies that is spelled B-O-O-G-Z, Barn, Uncle Boogie's Barn. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Have a good Halloween!